The moment at which Thomas recognizes that this is Jesus risen from the dead, he makes this affirmation of faith, my Lord and my God. In an instant, something shifts in him and he is awed by the realization that Jesus is the Messiah, is God. I guess that this moment is the moment of grace in the life of Thomas, a moment that is so powerful that it cannot but begin a cascade of transformation in him. The experience of encountering Jesus at this moment, when he was so closed off to that possibility, must have been profound. He could no longer be the same person he had been before. Something in him was softened and opened. Can you identify moments in your life that have changed how you have seen or understood things, experiences or relationships which have opened you up to something to which you were previously closed? Particularly as we get older, there can be sometimes the temptation to become set in the way that we see things. We can limit God's power and grace because we are afraid of being disappointed. This time of Easter is a time of new life. We celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, but we also celebrate what God desires to bring to life in us. Any encounter with the risen Christ liberates, heals, and opens up new possibilities and ways of engaging with life. What has died in us, perhaps our hope, our faith, our ability to love wholeheartedly can be resurrected, allowing us to experience with Jesus the joy of his new life. Let's consider, where have I become stubborn or narrow in my thinking? And what in me needs to be resurrected so that I can recognize and share the joy of the risen Christ?